begins today. It is, of course, a week-long celebration of African-American culture and values. And on each evening of Kwanzaa, families gather to light one of seven candles on a canara. Each candle represents one of the seven principles of Kwanzaa. That's unity, self-determination, collective work and responsibility, cooperative economics, purpose, creativity, and faith. And this Thursday, there's actually quite a cool opportunity for children to learn more about the holiday and to celebrate it. And this is at the Children's Kwanzaa Village at Major R. Owens Health and Wellness Community Center on Bedford Avenue. That's in Crown Heights, Brooklyn. Now this event, it is sold out. I am told there could be a waiting list, uh, but also the community center will have other events happening throughout the week. So joining us now to talk all about it, these are the founders and the organizers of the Children's Kwanzaa a village. This is Danielle Fairburn Bland and Kiana Hines and thank you both morning, so much guys. for being Good here. Morning. So there's so much to talk about. I guess first we should talk about the children's event. Um, tell us all about what's happening and maybe there's a chance you could still get in. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so the children's Kwanzaa Village is an annual celebration. Um, this is our seventh year and we're so grateful um, that we have business owners, entrepreneurs and other creatives yes. that volunteer their time to talk to the children about Kwanzaa. Um, we are so happy that hundreds of family have been in our village and um, children can experience drumming, spoken word, dancing, um, poetry, movements, and also book readings. Very cool for the kids and also for their parents as well. Now what about other holiday traditions? And there are many, so maybe you could yes. go through a couple of them. Sure. So Kwanzaa is grounded in family, culture, and community. Um, anything that you do to celebrate Kwanzaa, it should be around the seven principles. Um, some people light the Kanara, which is the candle holder. Some people goal set. Some people um, cook food together and celebrate, and some people pay homage to their ancestors. Most importantly, supporting black businesses and circulating in the black dollar is something that we all should be doing. If we could all live this way, the world would be a much better place. Now, I want to get back to a little bit of both of your backgrounds. You are authors. Yes. Um, how you got to starting the Children's Village, but as well, if you want to mention, um, you also have some books that you brought here. Yes, you can go ahead. Okay, so yes, yeah, so Children's Kwanzaa of Village, we started seven years ago. I met up with Daniil. Uh, we actually have, we, our families are from St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and they have been friends for generations. So once we connected with a like, a like-minded goal, I knew right off the bat that this was something that could have happened for us. Um, I used to celebrate Kwanzaa with my mom annually. Um, she invited people over to, for food, drinks, the kids dressed up, we did dances. Um, it was quite a celebration. So when she passed in 2018, I knew I wanted a way to commemorate her life and to continue on this legacy. And once I connected with Danielle, I knew that this was something that we could bring to the community. It's so much support in numbers. Yes. Um, and I really just want to strive and continue to speak on how, how important it is to work together and create something that you want. Anything is possible once you work together. And that's what your books are yep. also about, correct? Yes. yes. So our books are about um, grief. Kiana is a grief counselor. I'm a mental health counselor. And a lot of the books that I created to promote black joy and wellness. So we brought you guys some gifts, which is a big yes. part of Kwan's as well. Sharing gifts with the people you love um, so you can share with your family. Yes. Very exciting. And I just, lastly, because we only have about 30 seconds, just what you want children to take away from the experience. So one thing I want kids to take away is that it's okay to celebrate being you. Um, like Danielle said, we're self-published authors, we're moms, we're entrepreneurs, but we still found time to create something that meant something so dear to our hearts. Anything is possible once you put your mind to it. And look what consistency and legacy has brought us. Like we're being interviewed on CBS right now, seven years after starting yes. something. It's honestly amazing. And I'm so grateful for this opportunity. You could I, I, just keep striving for the stars. Anything is possible. I love that. Such a great message. Thank you both so much for Thank being here. For Good us. luck to you on Thursday. And Thank we have you. some more information on the Children's Kwanzaa Village at the Major R. Owens Health and Wellness Community Center. Other events happening throughout the week. You can head to CBSNewYork.com for all of that.